An 18th birthday party that ended in the murder of a DJ was gate crashed after being posted on social media, a friend of the victim said. The talented 20-year-old man, named only by his stage name of Nana Banger, was stabbed outside the house in Stamford Hill, Hackney, East London, following a fight, and then ran back inside. A friend of the dead man said more than 100 revelers turned up uninvited to the party after it was posted on social media. The party turned into a riot with people running screaming down the street, the witness said. Doc police were called shortly after midnight and the man, who has not been officially named, was pronounced dead four hours later. Nana Banger, who was believed to be friends with Fulham and Manchester United midfielder Timothy Fosumensa, died from stab injuries at four. Thirty a.m. this morning, after being rushed to hospital, the Met Police say. A 17-year-old also suffered stab wounds at the party, but his condition was described as not life-threatening by police. The third victim, a 24-year-old man, was found with a head injury and was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A neighbor earlier today said the birthday boy's mom told her it was the DJ who died. Jordan Henry, a friend of the victim said, it was an 18th birthday party of one of my friends, and the invitation just went round to too many people, and over 100 people showed up. It was posted on social media, and everyone showed up. The neighbors said they saw two boys fighting outside, and then one of them who was stabbed ran back inside. Once everyone knew what it was, they started running and screaming down the street. It was like a riot. It was crazy. Police extended the cordon around the house in Wilderton Road this morning as they continued to search the area after removing a car. The DJ posted a video last year walking down London's Oxford Street with Mr. Fosu Mensa, who is currently on loan from Manchester United to the West London Club. Today the Dutch footballer posted a still from the video on his Instagram page, writing, RIP TO YOU MY BROTHER. LOVE YOU MAY GOD BLESS YOU AT NANABENDER with two crying images and a rose underneath. The victim appears to talk and joke with another young footballer, dressed in a Manchester United soccer school shirt, in a previous posting. Young people on Twitter have been paying their respects to the DJ. Any tweet read, Rest in peace to one of the humblest guy on road, man, we gonna miss you, Nana Banger. And some have claimed partygoers filmed the fatal stabbing and posted videos to Snapchat. A woman who tweeted Rip Nana also said, Tired of this generation that we're living in. How the F do you back out your phone and records him dying? One Twitter user said, Man was dying, and everyone backed their phones to record. Word I seen the snaps of everyone turning up then next man's just lying there dying. Another posted, one of my boys was jing and snapped Nana before everything turned FD. Several have described the 18th birthday party last night as a motive an event that people post publicly about on Snapchat by putting motive as a caption on the video.
A neighbor said earlier today the man murdered at the 18th birthday party next door was Jing at the event. The family of the birthday boy were said to be devastated that the party ended in tragedy. A teenager, 17, was also found with stab injuries, however he is not thought to be in a serious condition, the Met said. The attack came just hours after a boy, 17, who is reportedly in a critical condition, was rushed to hospital after a stabbing in Limehouse, East London. The road was cordoned off today with police officers stationed outside the red brick property in an upmarket area of Hackney. A car was pictured being towed away from the scene in Stamford Hill after being marked as evidence this morning. Forensic teams have been seen entering the property just before 11 a.m. Andrew Packer Detective Chief Inspector Andrew Packer from the Homicide and Major Crime Command said it was a senseless loss of a young life to knife crime and that the three injured men were all at the large house party. He added, another family has been left devastated by the senseless loss of a young life to knife crime and we're doing all we can to bring those responsible to justice. What we know so far is that all three of these victims appear to have been attending a large house party at the address on Wilderton Road. I want to hear from anyone who was at that party, even if they didn't witness the assaults, they may have some information that could help us piece together the course of events that led to this tragedy. No arrest at this stage have been made, Scotland Yard said. A spokesperson for the Met Police said, police were called at 12. .50 a.m. on Saturday, 22 September, to a fight at a flat in Wilderton Road, Stamford Hill, N16. A 20-year-old man was taken to hospital, where he was pronounced dead at around 4. .30 a.m. His next of kin have been informed. Formal identification and a post-mortem examination will be arranged in due course. The second victim, a 17-year-old male, was also taken to hospital suffering a stab injury. His condition is not believed to be serious. Detectives from the Homicide and Major Crime Command are investigating. There has been no arrests at this early stage. His death comes just days after 25-year-old Ali Alhar was stabbed to death in nearby Islington, northeast London.